Good morning, YouTube friends. Today I want to talk about how you feel about wearing a wig. Some people are more comfortable than others. Today I have a John Rene wig on. I think it's the heat. I think it's golden wheat, the color. But some people feel uncomfortable wearing a wig. They're afraid that people are going to laugh at them or giggle. And people sometimes do giggle. But it's not because the wig doesn't look good. It's because people are nervous when you put on a wig. They're not quite sure how to take that or what to do about it. But one thing that you can do if you're nervous about wearing your wig is you can put it on, fix it all pretty, put your earrings on, and go out shopping somewhere where nobody knows you. That way you can get an honest reaction from people without worrying people are gonna really laugh at you, people that you know. And once you get some confidence wearing a wig, you're gonna find out that most people really don't have any reaction. They don't know it from your own hair. They just don't. Your hair might be longer. Your natural biological hair might be a little bit longer. Mine's shoulder length. And so they might see you in this shorter wig and they might think, you've got a haircut. It looks real pretty. So you say, thank you very much. And that's that. You don't say, this is a wig. You just say, thank you very much. I'm glad you like my hair. And you move on. <laughs> But you may have a whole array of wigs like I do. And my hair sometimes is long, sometimes it's real short, sometimes it's this length and maybe down here below my chin. So every day is going to be different for me. So people are used to that and nobody has a problem with it. Nobody giggles, nobody laughs, nobody tries to snatch my wig. That would be awful. Only a mean person would do something like that. Only a mean person would try, try to snatch your wig. Nobody's going to do that, I promise. Nobody's going to come up behind you and snatch your wig. Nobody's going to laugh at you. Your hair is going to look awesome. You're going to look nice. You're going to look good. So you can use confidence in wearing these wigs because you look good. You just find one that fits your face. I have the round face, so I like the fluffier bangs. This one has a fluffier bang. This one has a little bit of height. I like a little bit of height, and I like it to come down lower. This one doesn't come down low enough for me. I like it to come down below my jaw because I think it elongates my face. So if you have a heart-shaped face, or an oval face, or a squarish face, you might want to choose a wig that has different ways. Some may be longer. Maybe your face looks better with longer hair. Maybe long, straight hair looks really good on you. It doesn't look so good on me, but maybe long, straight hair would look good on you. So find out what looks good on you, what works with your face shape, and that will give you confidence in wearing your wig. Now, when you get a new wig, or when you're getting ready to put it on, the first thing you want to do is shake it out. Remember I told you that in another video. You shake it out real good because you want to get all the hairs going in pretty much the same direction. So it needs a good shaking. Then you take, then you take your own hair and you wrap it in a bun in the back. Just wrap it around and around and secure it with bobby pins. You can wear a wig cap like this or not. It depends upon how you feel about it. I don't like the tightness of the wig cap on my head. So I'm willing to wash my wigs and just pin my hair back and go because I think it feels better. It feels more like natural hair to me. If I 
put on a wig cap, then I feel like I've got something on my head that shouldn't be there. And it's just like tight. You can um, put on a hair band, one of those hair bands that I showed you. And you could wear that. Those are tight on my head too. There's also a glue that you can get, but I don't recommend the glue. When I tried the glue, it made my hair stiff and sticky, my natural biological hair. And I was worried that what I had was gonna break off because of the glue. And I had to go, as soon as I was done wearing a wig, I had to um, detach it. <laughs> and it's not good for your wig either to put glue on the bottom of it. So anyways, so I had to go get in the shower and wash my hair because I had all of this hardened, sticky glue on my head. And I didn't like that. So I don't use glue. I don't use the headband much because it gives me a headache. And I don't like the wig cap because it's just really tight on my head. So I'm one that just takes my hair, wraps it around in the back, and pins it. Now, you, if you have a wig that is fuller, like this one here, is really full. It has a lot of length on it. See that? It's really thick, pretty hair. It's a pretty, pretty wig. Pretty wig. But it might be a bit too thick for me. Or the bangs might not be right for me. So I could get the bangs trimmed. I would take it to my hairdresser. I haven't done that with this wig yet because I keep wearing it the way it is and I just pull it around and make a ponytail to the side. That's what I do with this wig. I love to wear it like that. And I put a scrunchie in and wear it to the side. My bangs are a little bit messy here. I have to comb all that out. But that's what I do with a longer wig. But you can take your wig in and you can get a hairdresser to thin it out or to fix the bangs different from you. Maybe they're too long for you. Maybe they're not right and you want to trim those up. You can do that if you like. Let me see what else. Style your wig. Use a wig brush. Remember what I told you about wig brushes and style your hair. Comb it out a bit before you get it on. See where all the hairs is gonna go. See how these bangs are a little bit long? To me, that's too long for me. So I might go and get these bangs trimmed a bit. We'll see what I do. Not quite sure yet. Um, you can get bangs. You can get bangs. Remember I showed you my bangs. If I can find my bangs. Here they are. I have a whole box. I have a whole basket full of <laughs> wigs <laughs> pieces. Some of which I can still use and some of which my hair is just too thin. So I can't really do a lot of it. But these are my bangs. These are the clip-in part. You can also get bangs that are hair bands. And I might go ahead and try to get that this week. Get one with hair band and try those, try those bangs. This one is a bit, these bangs are not fluffy enough for me. They're a bit straight, but they still look pretty good. They, they look pretty good. So get yourself a set of bangs because if you do that and you have a, a little headscarf, make yourself a pretty hairdo. And, you, and your hair looks really full. So, back to building your confidence. Put on your wig, take off, go shopping in a different area, and walk around and look at people's faces when they see you in your wig, and you're gonna find they don't even know the difference. They don't even know the difference. They just think, oh, well, that lady has nice hair, or they don't even notice at all. So, don't be embarrassed. Don't be fearful, put it on 
and wear it. And the first time you wear it to the grocery store, put your head up high, go in, and everyone will think that you have a brand new haircut and you look awesome. Now, Facebook friends today, I'm sorry, YouTube friends now today, I have a hat that I'm going to wear because this is Sunday and it's time for me to go to church. So I'm wearing this wig, the John Rene, and I'm wearing a little hat with it. I don't know if you can see what I've got on today. I've got my black pants, I've got my blush shirt, and I've got my little hat on. You don't have to dress up real fancy to go to church. You can go in jeans. It doesn't really matter. But today is church day, and it's the day that we go and celebrate and worship Jesus. Now, it might be that bad times are coming. It might be that we look at the news, we look at the situation that's going on in the world, and we get fearful. We become fearful, and we're worried that bad things may start happening. You know what? We need to hold on to our faith. Jesus is in charge. God is in charge. He is in control. And no matter what happens, no matter how they want to spin the news, the truth is God is in control. And there's no need to worry or be concerned because he knows what's going on here. He knows what's going on on planet Earth. He does. And he's coming back, folks. He is coming back. It's about that time. So we need to look up and we need to keep on to our faith and we need to be joyful and happy and do what we can to look the best that we can. It's all right if you're losing your hair. I'm losing mine. I just put on a wig, pin my hair back, put on a wig, put on a smile, and I go. Bye. I love you.